Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to take another look on how to multiply two two-digit numbers together. So we'll call that method two. Before we show you how to do that, let's go ahead and work it out the old-fashioned way, simply through the longhand process. Two times seven is 14. We write the four and remember one. And you know what I always do? I use my fingers to remember those numbers. So I go two times seven is 14. I write down the four and I remember one. 2 times 3 is 6, I remember the 1, add that, that gives me 7. 4 times 7 is 28, that gives me an 8, I remember 2, that's why I put two fingers out, I remember 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, I can add all that together, I get 4, 7 plus 8 is 15, 5, I remember 1, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1, so the total is 1,554. Now, what is that method 2 I was talking about? What you can think about is that 37 times 42, since 37 is the same as 30 plus 7, and 42 is the same as 40 plus 2, you can get the same thing by multiplying 30 times 40, 30 times 2, 40 times 7, and 2 times 7. In other words, 30 times 40 is equal to, well, 3 times 4 is 12, add two zeros gives me 1,200. 30 times 2 is equal to 60. 40 times 7, well, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 0 is 280. And finally, 7 times 2 is equal to 14. And then I add all that together. First, I add these two together. That gives me 340. Add that to 1,200, it gives me 1,540. Add 14, that gives me 1,554. And with a little bit of practice, you can actually do that in your head. You go 30 times 40, that's 1,200. Remember 1,200. 30 times 2 is 60. 1,200 plus 60 is 1,260. Then 40, 40 times 7 is 280. 1,260 plus 280. Now you say, well, that could be pretty difficult to do in your head. And yes, it takes a little practice. But 1,260 plus 200 is 1,460. Plus 80 gives me 15, 1,540. And then add another 2 plus 7, that gives me another 14, that's 1554. So notice, you can note all that in your head by simply breaking the, the product down like that. Let's try it again on this example right here. Again, we first work it out longhand. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18, I write down the 8, remember 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 9, 2 plus 8 is 10, write down the 0, remember 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. That's the answer. But again, we can break it down by saying this is the same as 20 times 20, which would be 400. 20 times 1, which is 20. 20 times 9, which is 180. And finally, 9 times 1, which is 9. Notice when I add these two together first, I get 200. Add to 400, it gives me 600. Plus 9 gives me 609. Look how easy it is when you do it quickly like that. Again, 20 times 20 is 400. 20 times 1 is 20, that's 420. 20 times 9 is 180. 20 plus 180 is 200. Add to 400 is 600. 1 times 9 is 9, 609. Let's try the last one and see how we would do that one. Again, long hand, you take 2 times 8, which is 16. Write down the 6, remember 1. 2 times four, 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 3 times 8 is 24. 4, remember 2. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. Add them all together, you get 6, 9, 4, and 2. How could you do that differently? With technique 2, method number 2, you can do the following. 70 times 30, that's equal to 2100. 3 times 7 is 21, add two zeros. Then you go 30 times 8, which is 3 times 8 is 24, add a zero. And you go 70 times 2, which is 140. Finally, it's 8 times 2, which is 16. The first thing I do is add those two together. 240 plus 140 is 380. Add 380 to 2100 is 2000. 480, remember 380 plus 1, that's 480, plus 16 is 2,496. Or you can simply just quickly add it like that. But again, if you're going to do it in your head, 70 times 30 is 2,100, 30 times 8 is 240, 70 times 2 is 140, 
8 times 2 is 16. Add these two together. 240 plus 140 is 380. Plus 1 is 480. 2480 plus 16, 2496. And that's how it's done, method 2. We don't do much of that kind of thing anymore now that we have calculators because everybody very quickly grabs their calculator and starts punching buttons. But exercise for the brain is very useful. And just practicing this, you'll be amazed how much easier things will become in the future when you start learning how to do these things in your head. It takes a little practice. It's not easy at the beginning, but the rewards are really big. Believe me, I had to go through rigorous training like this when I was in fifth grade, and I remember how much it helped me as I got into more difficult mathematics and science problems. So give that a try and see how it works.